things have definitely shifted a lot um, and definitely shows in my work after I graduated. Um, I, I think it just happened to be a need of need for myself. I was wanting to create and being in quarantine at the time, I was struggling to find ways to still be active creatively. The films came about and then that's when a lot of the racial injustices started to pop up in the media, which they've always been here. It's just they happen to get more publicity. But since that was coming about in the media, I saw that as an opportunity to not only share my work, but inform and educate other people and other questions that were coming from friends and family members of my own or people who I consider to be family about what to do, what's going on, what's happening. And so I decided to just um, kind of use everything that I've been trained to do, um, my need to create and also the want to educate and inform people, use that all as one and create these short films. I think just trying to channel that anger and frustration um, that I was feeling and to use that to like light a fire on my butt to create more work and to show how we can always overcome this, but also at the same time juxtaposing that and showing what is actually happening, what's going on, that we're being murdered, we're dying. And um, it's not just what you're seeing through a screen. It's people who are close to you. Like we are George Floyd. We are Breonna Taylor. Like we are these people and it's us. And I think it just makes it more of a reality and less of sort of, I think that's what takes it out of this film aspect or it's just happening through a screen or whatever. Like this is actually what's going on. And yeah, I wanted to show that a sense of liveliness in juxtaposition of the death that you're seeing all the time, of police brutality, the violence, the anger, the riots. I wanted to show also another side of that. And um, yeah, so joy is definitely something I wanted to highlight in all of my videos as well as the death and murders that's been going on. Also what we've given to dance as far as like the African diaspora, like really showing all those elements. Um, in all my films, I wanna emphasize polycentrism, polyrhythms, rhythm, dimensionality, um, euph um, euphibism, useful attack, like all of that is incorporated in my work and my dance. And that's things that the black body has given to culture in general. And that's something that I definitely wanted to emphasize. Um, I feel like perspective is a really big um, problem that we have when trying to get people to understand what's happening, how you can help, why it's wrong, because people really don't understand that. And it's all based on perspective, things that we've experienced. And like we just said, things that are naturally embedded in us. Of course, when we talk about slavery, Black people are going to feel a lot heavier about it than people who are not of color because that's something that has happened to people like us, people who look like us. I don't expect you to feel that same exact way. I do expect you to understand that, understand your perspective and mine. But when you're with a group of people who all share that same kind of perspective as you, knowledge of history, where you're wanting to go, have that same kind of feeling of what while we're dancing and what we're trying to get this video out for it just feels good that energy it's it's just unexplainable and I think it also feels good to know that we're working on something as a group working on something that's gonna outlive us um, we were talking about reputation or um, just what we want to pass down the next generations and I think the fact that we all were working on something that we knew that was going to be filmed and that hopefully will stay here for a longer time than us I think it's nice we want to start contributing to things that are going to outgrow us because like I said tomorrow's not promised so leaving that behind and knowing that's going to um, be passed down to other people or hopefully other people will see that and want to learn more or get something from that I think is great it's a uh, the energy is what's important. It's really unexplainable. You have to feel that, feel the um, energy of everyone together. It's a community for sure.